Yo, what's going on guys? So it's been a couple of weeks since I put up my uh, last unboxing, unboxing number 14, where it's a split into three parts. I want to say thanks to anyone that checked those out. Um, that was a culmination of about five months of, uh, you know, stuff that I got. But anyways, uh, here we are. So I'm about to uh, open some stuff up. Which, this is number 15, guys. So, first and foremost, uh, remember last time, I got the, I got the Final Fantasy VII Remake. So, when I opened that box up, it actually gave me a choice to get the uh, Square Enix points. And, uh, so I went on the Square Enix website, and I had 50 points, so I picked this thing which is a Final Fantasy Lanyard. So this is all of the characters in 8-bit or 16-bit sprites. So here's Square Enix. And then going along this thing. So here we got, here we got Moogle from every Final Fantasy. This I'm not sure. White Mage, Black Mage. This I'm not sure. This might be Red Mage. This is Dragoon. And uh, I think this is a character from Final Fantasy VI. I'm not exactly sure who this is. And then as we go along, so this is Locke from Final Fantasy VI. This is Kefka, the big bad from Final Fantasy VI. This is Terra, Final Fantasy VI. This actually goes in ascending order from like the beginning to uh, like the newest ones. So here we got Terra, and then Final Fantasy VII's Cloud, Sephiroth, uh, Aerith, and then FF8's uh, Squall, and then uh, Laguna, and uh, actually, I think this is, this is the 8-bit Zidane, and then uh, this is another FF, this is FF8, this is FF9, so this is actually Titus, Final Fantasy X's MC, here's Seymour, and then we keep going, no, I'm actually not sure who this is, I think this is Lightning, and then here's Chocobo, and if I open this thing up, there's actually a whole lot more characters on the flip side, underneath. So I actually got this thing. I'm not really going to put it on anything because I don't really got anything like that, you know, to wear it with. This thing has got like all of these, you know, 2D, 3D uh, characters from like FF5 all the way through like 13 in pixels. Uh, this thing's got like in my opinion. So this is the first thing right here. I'm going to put it uh, over here. And then let's move right on to the next thing. So, uh, I actually got this today. And, uh, this, we're all about to see what this is. So, here we go. This is Soccer Wars for PS4. And, I never played any of the older Soccer Wars. They were all for, like, Sega. Uh, constantly like Genesis, Dreamcast, Saturn, but this is technically Soccer War 6 and um, Soft Reboot, and um, I'm going to open this up and uh, show you all what's inside. I actually got this today uh, through, through Amazon, so you know, it came in two days after release, so uh, how the front looks and uh this is the back looks this is the whole new uh, combat review and uh opening this up this is the game disc and uh this is a bonus that came with it these are basically stickers of the uh, main character here's a sega logo and uh pretty cool maybe find a place to put them on not sure let me just put them in my notebook or something. And then here, uh, basically, it doesn't have a pamphlet, but there is a code on the back side for these DLC costumes. 
So, uh, the Digital Deluxe had more things, but, um, I'm not really pressed for DLC. I don't need every single DLC, uh, imaginable. But, uh, yeah, I was actually really trying to, you know, like, try this out. I'm watching the new anime. I saw some of the older one. And, um, uh, basically, there's a reverse cover right here. Oh, um, it's kind of, I guess it's kind of hard to see. But, uh, this is the, uh, reverse cover. I can flip this around. Um, and, uh, this is actually uh, something that I got as a, a birthday gift from a friend of mine. So, um, I want to say huge thanks to uh, Blood. Thanks, my guy. Thanks, bro. Really appreciate it. And I'm really looking forward to playing this. So, uh, yeah, Sakura Wars. Uh, let's put this right here. And then, uh, as of right now, I got kind of a lot of JRPGs, FF7R, uh, Trials of Mana, uh, Sakura Wars, and uh, <laughs> I actually just got Streets of Rage 4, which isn't a JRPG, but another, you know, something that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's going to be uh, something I'm going to be playing. I really don't give a damn about any sort of reviews. I feel like those reviews are biased as hell against uh, more niche Japanese uh, like JRPGs. So, this is actually something that I got from uh, GameStop. Uh, this was like end of last week. So, I actually got a couple of things. One of those things is, y'all about to see, it is this guy right here, Toonami Tom. And for anyone that's my age range of 31. So back in the early 2000s, Toonami was that shit. We used to come back from school and uh, you know, watch Toonami. That's how you know me and countless other people got introduced to anime. Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon. Those are the first two. And then, you know, I mean, like, as time went on, you know, other series came around. But that was basically the uh, milestone that uh, got anime popping in the U.S. And that was on Toonami. And this was Toonami's, like, mascot. This was, like, the first uh, Toonami Tom right here. So, uh, here's the box. Back. I guess this was a slogan, but, um, yeah, I seen this on sale, and I was like, you know, I gotta get this, because Toonami was such a big part of me, like, of my life growing up, uh, so it looks like no stand or nothing, but, uh, it's all silver with the blue, with the scope, and it's actually metallic, so, looks real nice, um, here it is up close. And yeah, he got the uh, nuclear reactor sign thing. And yeah, I really like it. I was able to get this one on sale. So, uh, this was uh, one of the things that I got. Basically, there's a sale going on. Like, last Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, uh, I got this for like $9. And, uh, and then I got two other things, basically. Put this, uh, this one I'm gonna show you all that I got. So, uh, another thing. I didn't find any other pops that I, uh, you know, that I thought were dope. But, uh, this fitted right here. A Dragon Ball. Well, not a fitted. Snapback. Dragon Ball snapback. So we got the DBZ tags on here. This is also on sale. So uh, I actually don't have anything in this color scheme as far as hats go. And uh, I really like this green. It's not lime and it's not like you know, super dark, but it's nice. 
and as Goku's uh, like that logo that he has on his gi on the back of his gi. So got this BB right here, basically adjustable. Um, so uh, back when I was in like high school and uh, middle school, I I had a lot of fitteds, and now I actually got a pretty good deal of snapbacks. But I have a lot of like. Like the darker one. Like this is a lighter one. Most of them are like dark black or whatever. And uh got this baby right here. I stick this underneath underneath the bill. Uh, got the dragon ball on the back and uh yeah, real nice. Looks real dope in my opinion. And then this thing right here, this is also on sale. I was actually just looking for something to get free shipping. So I got the Tunagi Tom, I got that. And I needed one other thing to basically uh, find. And I found this. Uh, basically, the PS logo in red. And then, you know, when I was looking through this, it was all black. But I had the, uh, the PlayStation logo basically all over the place. And uh, here it's facing forward. And here it's flipped upside down. So, uh, Here's a PSM logo, so pretty much like an official product of Sony. And uh, so I got this thing and it came out to, you know, pretty much an even $30. So, uh, got this baby right here. And uh, these two are in colors that I don't have. So, uh, yeah, I really like the design on them. This uh, logo thing on here and the orange. I have an orange Chevron shirt orange with the green chevron so uh, i could wear that put that hat for anything green really and uh you know basically this i can wear with anything black or red but yeah that's really all i got today this is the unboxing so uh, this is unboxing uh 15. uh just wanted to share this and this came in so uh, i'm gonna be on this and uh you know Everything that's going on, let's hope that Evo is still going to be going on, you know, in the beginning of August. Let's pray that it doesn't get canceled. And uh, as far as everything else, you know, I really hope that uh, we're going to see some money matches in the FGC, like Knuckle D versus Ida. That's all I can really pray for because everything's canceled. But uh, anyway, everyone that's seen my last three. Appreciate it a lot. Thanks for checking them out. And uh, next time I get a couple of things, uh, I'm going to unbox them. So uh, wish you all the best. And uh, I'm going to be out. Peace.